Okay, so we're going to have a little look at decimals and how they translate into fractions, okay, how they can convert to fractions. Okay, so when we have a decimal, the dot, everything to the left of the decimal is a whole number. So if I add a one in the ones in the units, that would be like one object, one pound, one person is a whole one. Everything to the right of the decimal is less than one and it's all parts of one so we try to see how many parts of, of a whole bit we've got and how many more we would need to get a whole bit so if I had for example one in the tenths column then that would be like saying I have one ten pence piece so I'd need ten of those ten pences to get to one whole pound so I haven't got a whole pound I've only got ten pence Okay, so that would be that would look, for example, like that if we were talking about it as money. So it'd be 0 0.10, 0 0.10 for money. Okay, so we're going to stick with the tenths column for um, for now. So this is going to be part one. So our tenths column is there. It is tenths. Is that word tenths? It's one part of a whole. Zero point one. Now, if I asked you what a fifth would look like as a fraction, then you would say, oh, it's one out of five. And I'd say, well done. If I said, what is a sixth, then you would say, it's one out of six. If it's a seventh, it'd be one out of seven, and so on. Okay, so if we said, what is one tenth, then that's going to be one out of 10. So we've got our 10 on the bottom for our 10th and then we've got our 1 on the top. Now think about the column that we have our 1 in. We've got 1 10th and our fraction shows 1 10th. Let's have a look if we change that 1 to a different number. Okay, so instead of having 1 10th, we're going to have 0 0.10. Three. So we'll have three tenths. What's the three in? The tenths column. So we have three tenths. If we write that as a fraction, have a go if you want, it would be three out of ten. That bottom, the denominator, shows us it's a tenth, and the numerator is a three. So we have three out of ten. Three tenths. Because we are saying if we had a shape, and it was broken up into 10 pieces, we would have three of those pieces, and they would be the seven left over. And that if we added those together, we'd have a whole one. So again, everything is working towards a whole one. Let's get rid of our three tenths, and let's make that a seven. So 0 0.7 would be seven tenths, because it's in the tenths column seven tenths so when we are looking at converting fractions in and decimals we're thinking about the column that it is in so we have seven tenths 0 0.7